Good morning, and welcome to an all-new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Zach Galumgum. And I'm Lyndon Reynolds. As students prepare to come back to school a week from Monday, teachers are also preparing to make the return. However, several teachers have requested to stay at home but have been denied. In an email's response to an inquiry sent by Eye of the Tiger, Assistant Superintendent Brad Basham wrote, Teachers' requests must be individually and confidentially reviewed. Additionally, leaves of absence need to be reviewed, remaining strictly confidential. Basham says that the percentages will be provided in one to two weeks. Meanwhile, several teachers have conferred to Eye of the Tiger that their requests to work from home have been denied. Okay. Um, so the teachers who have underlying health conditions that may have wanted to teach in that virtual academy and are now being denied the opportunity to teach distance in what's coming out in the, the past couple days are now being forced to go back into an instance where they don't feel safe. Um, all because we didn't do the things that we needed to do to set it up beforehand. Um, right. And so that is a little bit frustrating, I think. Schools plan to reopen one week from Monday. With the reopening of school, yearbook prices will be going up on October 12th. Every year, the yearbook uh, has its prices go up by $10 at the start of every academic quarter. So as we're going to be starting a new academic quarter on October 12th, then that means that the prices are going to raise from $65, which they presently are, to then $75. This is not something that is unique um, uh, to this particular year. We always do the step up pricing each academic term, and that's because it really is important to us to have um, as many orders as early in the year as possible, so that way we could actually order the correct number of books from our publisher Jostens to get printed. It's really, really hard after the fact to try to order additional copies and then that ends up um, making the price per book substantially higher on behalf of our program. Your book prices will be rising from $65 to $75. We go over to Kobe Estrada with sports. Good morning and welcome to this Friday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Kobe Estrada. With last year's head football coach Joe Catalco stepping down this past summer, Roseville named health and safety and PE teacher Adam Ryan King as the new head coach. We go to Jackson Hooker with more on the story. This June, coach Adam Ryan King was named head varsity football coach after being an assistant coach last year. Ryan King has many years of coaching experience, including 13 years as head coach and a 33-22 record at El Camino High School, bringing them to the playoffs three out of five years. Well, this will be my 17th year uh, coaching football, and this will be my, what, 13th year as a head coach, and, um, you know, um, my third year at Roseville. And, and so, you know, over, over that time, um, you know, I've learned a lot. I had opportunity to learn from, you know, Coach Catalico last year and, and coaches throughout the years, and, um you know, I'm excited to uh, start this kind of journey as a head coach at Roseville High School and, and apply what I've learned in a couple of years I wasn't a head coach, and, and, and hopefully I can make us better out there. Ryan King has goals outside of just football, like making the team accountable for their peers and representing their community. So, so that would be my goal is, is to kind of establish a culture um, that fits, you know, the, the hard work and the accountability piece, the, the, the players are accountable for each other and, and um, to, their, to their classmates, to their school, to their community. Um, so that's kind of what the goal would be. Senior wide receiver Brett Newton is excited to get back on the field knowing how committed ranking is to his football team. As I have gotten to know Coach Ranking, I know that he is dedicated to us players on and off the field, and he is dedicated to creating a successful program, and I just can't wait to get out there and start playing again. Senior guard and middle linebacker Eddie Valdez believes the team will adapt well to the coaching switches. Catalico and Ranking share like coaching styles. I think Ranking and Catalico have the same uh, level of play. Uh, Ranking runs a different uh, uh, offense than Catalico, but uh, if you compare them as like you know who they are as a coach, I think they're just about the same. And that's on your home for Roseville High School sports top plays, breakdowns, and more. I the Tiger Sports Network EOTSN. And now we go over to entertainment. Thanks, Kobe. On Sunday, September 27th, the fourth season of the FX series Fargo premiered its first two episodes, and I have to say it's definitely living up to the high expectations. If you are familiar with Fargo, it's based off of a 1996 film of the same name. 
Each season has a different story with different characters in a different year. And every season is also based in either Minnesota or Missouri. Here's a look at the trailer. You sure about this? You remember what happened to the Irish? Italians, they're the past. We're the future. They just don't know it yet. This season, we travel back to the year 1950 in Kansas City, where two criminal syndicates are fighting for a piece of the American dream, but have struck an uneasy peace. Together, these two control an alternate economy of exploitation. To cement their truce, Lloyd Cannon, the head of the African American crime family, trades his youngest son with his enemy, Donatello Fada, the head of the Italian mafia. In return, Donatello does the same with his youngest son. And intertwined in this tale of power and immigration are other characters you can come to know through watching the show that will play into the story later on. All three of the previous seasons of Fargo have been equally amazing. So much time is put into the cinematography and writing of the show, and it really shows every season, especially now considering it's been a few years since season three, plus its delay back in April. Personally, after watching the first two episodes, I'm super excited to see how chaotic and intricate this story gets this season with these characters. If you're interested in watching it, you can watch it on Hulu or YouTube TV. And now we go back to news. Thanks, Isabella. Student government will host Spirit Days on Fridays for the next several weeks. They hope that these Spirit Days can bring some fun and lighthearted times to help people stay positive during these challenging times. This Friday, October 2nd's theme is Decades Day. So dress up your Zoom space or wear an outfit that represents your favorite decade and show your spirit on Zoom. Students who participate in these Spirit Days can DM a picture of themselves to RHS's Instagram for a chance to win prizes in a raffle held by student government. And that's it for us today on Eye of the Tiger. And remember, we're always on at eyeofthetigernews.com. See you next time.